wouldn't go anywhere. So I fully, you know, fully support the recommendations and fully support what they do. Thanks, Rob. Any further contributions? Um, with that said, then, um, can we agree the recommendations set out on page 293, please? Thank you. Um, and thank you um, to our forces for your attendance. Um, um, it, it is heartfelt, the, um, the warmth in which I think um, the city, region, and the individual <coughs> local authorities respect and, and, and treat uh, our forces, but also um, what we're trying to do is command authority level as well to supplement some of that. Um, it's been uh, an absolute pleasure of mine to be on, on many occasions um, on parade with, with our forces. And I don't know whether people know this, but I was told, and uh, so this is not an evidence based um, statement, but I'm told that per capita, um, the Liverpool City region has more people in the armed forces than anywhere else in the country. Even if it's only partially true, it means that you know, we, we have an awful lot of people who are from our area who serve or have served in the armed forces. And I think that's a, a testament really to the way in which we um, honour and respect people, um, some of whom are no longer here, but some people um, who are currently serving and at any stage can be called into dangerous conflict. Um, thanks very much, everybody, for all your uh, help. is uh, public question time. Um, Trudy, will you see if any public questions? We have received any chair. Okay, uh, as there are no public questions, um, item 17 is petitions and statements, so have we had any of those? Again, we haven't received any of them, chair. Moving on to item 18, uh, the minutes of the Transport Committee held on the 4th of April um, this year. Um, Liam, anything to add? As read, um, can we confirm the minutes of the Transport Committee held on the 4th of April 2019, please? Um, I'm not sure whether he knows this is going to happen, but uh, you may be aware that this is uh, Nick Noons, uh, who's the Director of Education Transport. It, it's uh, his last meeting um, here at the Combined Authority, and he's going to be retiring shortly. Um, everybody's at that point is supposed to go, surely not, he looks far too young. Yeah, we'll take that as read also. Um, Nick's been involved in transport within the city region for many years, including roles at Nodley and Halton before joining the Combined Authority a few years ago. And Mick has been pivotal in a number of significant transport areas for the city region, including the involvement with transport for the north, really important to us, and in promoting the inclusion of a new line between Liverpool and Manchester and direct connectivity onto HS2 uh, and its network. Mix an expert in all of these things, um, and proper anorak. So uh, Mix also chaired um, the successful bus alliance, uh, overseeing significant customer enhancements, and has led um, the development of the key route network strategic team. Uh, just on the first one, on our buses, an awful lot of work has gone on in that. People may well have read uh, in the paper about other areas um, who have announced things on buses, believe me, um, we are doing everything and people are working, beavering away behind the scenes and we will make an announcement when we're, we're um, ready to do so and won't be um, pushed into making an early announcement that may well then be challenged, um, but we'll get the right decision for the local city region. But on behalf of the command authority, um, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank Mick for this continued involvement with transport across the city region. Um, I know it's not for a couple of weeks or more, but when it does come, we'd like to wish you an enjoyable retirement if there is such a thing. Thank you for your efforts. <laughs> Are there any further comments on that? I just, I just thought we would be, uh, it's like a poacher to gamekeeper because he was working for and then he's gone to, to City Region and I'm not sure you know, we have to keep an eye on him sometimes. <laughs> but when he worked for the Horton for many, many, many years, Mick's attention to detail was fantastic. 
and I often went to the early mornings, I wanted to call the chats to catch up with the transportation users and what he didn't know and what he were knowing. I know um, he was seconded to um, transport from the north from Holton for a while and talked about this bloody tunnel that's going to go through the, the Pennines and he's coming back wagging his tail about it and everything and thinking, do you, do you think this is going to ever happen, you know what I mean? But Mick was sure it was we're going to get this sorted. So yes, I like you, I'm annoyed that it looks so when young to be tired. You know what I mean? And, you, and he won't share his pills that he's taking, you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, I do wish you all the best, you know what I mean? Thank you. Uh, thanks for that, Bob. Um, we will move on to the um, the next uh, meeting of the Combined Authority, which was will take place on Friday the 26th of July at 1 o'clock. And if there's nothing else, I'll declare the meeting closed. And thank you all for your attendance.